Hi, I'm Narid Ansari, and in this video, we're gonna continue talking about materials and learn a lot of stuff through this video. Okay, you can see in here we have this cool level. There are some 3D model in here that has a cool material to it. Now I'm gonna show you how you can create this material, and along the way you will learn a lot. Um, you will learn a lot about LERP nodes, uh, about vertex colors. So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, let's just open up one of these cube in here. So that's that's our cube, right? And in this cube, you can see let me decrease the camera speed in here this static mesh doesn't have a lot of a, a slot for us to create material for them first way to create these is by when you when you are creating your static mesh just separate all of uh, for example this part that is red from this part that is black and create two material for these two slots but this static mesh doesn't have that so let me apply for example this this is our static mesh and you can see it just have one slot for our material but why when i choose one of these material uh it has different colors it just have one material and you can see the material is this so let's just open it and you can see this is a material instance and if we go in here the parent of this material instance let's just open up open that and you can see it here and what is important in here that you should learn in this video is this vertex color what is this vertex color so they use this vertex color to change the color of this edge in here okay in just one material that's cool right so first of all let's just talk about this vertex color i did create a material in here nothing connected to it for previewing i just select this um, sm cube that we found in here and after that I click on here and you can see the static mesh that we want to paint on that we want to create material for right and we want these edges to have an em emissive color and all others we don't want to have color just black is good right how we can create material just for this part so we can use vertex color if you watch my videos about materials in Unreal Engine 5 you will get it fast but if you are watching from this video let me show you if you right click and search for vertex color okay and connect this RGBA value to the base color now you can see some part of it is green some part of it is black and some part of it is red okay it's exactly like a texture okay so if I connect for example the red channel to base color now you can see this part is white and this part is black if you watch my videos about materials you know it by now white it means one and black it means zero so in here you can see this white part it means it's one and this black side it means it is zero so if we mu multiply it by a color what will happen so let's just do that multiply let's just create a color in here as well hold three and left click it will create the color i want to change the color to be for example red okay and i want to multiply this red channel that is this wide space in here multiply it by this color and connect the output of that to base color and now you can see we just create a material just for this part right with this vertex color but from where this vertex color is coming it's coming from your 3d 3d model designer when they give you your static mesh there will be a vertex color in there as well and i did show you how you can see that vertex color if you just connect this rgba value let's just delete this we will do it cut this okay we will do it again and you can see if you connect it to base color you can see this is green area this is black area and this is a red area and if we connect the red area to base color it will just give us the part of this static mesh that was red in white okay white means one and black means zero so whatever you multiply by white or one will be that value but whatever you multiply by black or zero it will be zero no matter how big your uh, value is okay and we can use this green channel as well let's just connect it and now you can see when we connect the green channel to base color you can see it's this part is white and this part is black okay so whatever color we want to put in for this green channel this white part we can multiply it like this okay we can multiply this green and all of this side in here will be red now let's just connect it to C and now you can see it clearly it, it look cool right so that was it about vertex color how we can use it we can use it in a lot of ways so for example let's just connect the green uh, the red channel to this multiply and you can see it's just doing this part because the red channel in this area in here is white and white means one 
and we multiply one by red color it will make it red okay let's just use that for our emissive color so we can do that you know it by now i did talk about it i did talk about emissive color a lot so let's just do it this red part i want it to glow right so how we can do that first of all we need these two so Control c Control v to paste it here and because we wanted this red channel that is this part to glow what we can do we can multiply this again multiply and you know it by no because uh, for having a missive color we should overdrive values we need another multiply as well so <clears throat> let's just connect these two here first connect these to emissive color and right now it's not glowing too much but if we create a constant value in here by holding one and left click and connect it to this multiply we want to overdrive this red color okay so something like 100 for example and now you can see the that part that we talk about is now glowing okay and we can use this vertex color for roughness specular metallic as well okay so for example you know that the green channel is this black part in here if i wanted to show you we can just connect it to base color like this so you can see the green channel is this white part in here okay so let's just use that i want this part that is in green channel to have um to decide over metallic okay so let's just connect it this way and know wherever there is green channel in this vertex color the metallic is one so no i want to use it on roughness so if you connect this green channel to roughness as well it changed the roughness of this part to be one but we want it to be reflective right so we want all of this part to be zero right so for that we want to use lerp function so let me show you what the lerp function do for us so for showing you what is the lerp function let's just create another material in here i want to call it m lerp because i want to show you the lerp function right let's just double click on it and in here whenever we put zero on base color it means it is black okay and whenever we put one in base color it means it is white so let's just connect and you can see it is white now if we use lerp function in here let me show you search for lerp and the one that we want is this linear interpolate okay so it has three input a b and alpha and there is another way to create it there is a shortcut hit l on your keyboard left click and it will create the lerp function for you okay so let's just connect these two to here and let's just connect the output of that to the base color alpha will decide the output okay so for example this value this a and b is a zero and one so if we put for example 0.5 in here it it means that is that this is a value between a and b that is 0 and 1 and it give us 0.5 in output okay so if the value if the b value in here was 100 okay if we put 0.5 in alpha it will give us 50 in output now okay so how we can use it so let's just delete this first of all let's just change this to the plane let me create some color to show you in a better way I'll hold three on your keyboard and create two color in here okay one of them i want it to be pure red and one of them i want it to be pure your blue okay and let's just connect them to a and b okay and if you click on this layer you can see by default it is 0.5 and if you put zero in here it will output the red channel okay and if you put one in here it will output the blue channel okay but if you put 0.5 in here or just create a constant in here connect it to the alpha and put 0.5 in here okay what it will do it will take 50 percent of red and 50 percent blue mix it together and and show it on output and you can see it 50 percent red and 50 percent blue okay so that is what this layer function do and we can use texture a texture sample as well on this alpha okay so let me show you how you can do that so for example this texture you can see it has some white area and some black area white area means one and black area it is it means it is zero okay and if we connect this to alpha you can see wherever there is white it means one and it will connect the blue to the output and wherever there is black area in this texture it will connect the red to this a input to the output i hope you get the idea how layer works okay so just play with this layer until you clearly get what it's doing so no let's just go to our material test in here and we wanted the roughness of this part that is the green channel in our vertex color to the roughness of that we want it to be zero so it will be reflective and shiny right 
So let's just create a lerp in here, hold L and create a lerp. Let's just bring them in here so we have some space. And we want some part of this to have roughness of one. So let's just create two constant in here by holding one, one of them for roughness of zero and one of them with roughness of one okay and you remember this green channel let's just again connect it to the base color and let's just disconnect these two so you can see it clearly and you can see this white area is what this green channel give us wherever there is white it means one wherever there is black it means zero okay so this white area we want the roughness to be zero right so let's just again control z to bring it back and no let's just connect this green channel of this vertex color to the alpha because this vertex color should decide where we want the roughness to be zero and where we want the roughness to be one okay so in this green green channel we know that this part is white or one okay so whenever we put one in this alpha it will give us the b so the b we want it to be roughness of zero and the one we want the roughness of the one okay so let's just connect the output of this uh, layer to the roughness no let me organize this no the, the roughness of this part is zero it, it's not showing us clearly but if we disconnect this metallic in here we can see it clearly okay so no this part is reflective and if you want to have metallic as well you can just use again this layer function to have it as metallic or not metallic okay so no you can see we create this cool effect with vertex color and lip you know everybody in last video that it that it that i did talk about clothes everybody commented what about material don't you want to finish it or not uh, guys look at here there is a lot of option in here there is a lot of functions and all of that based on math right now you know all the basics about materials and if you want to do very cool stuff you can play with that and because it will run in gpu it will be very much faster than do it uh, do all of this stuff with lights with uh with the static meshes and all the Unreal Engine tools. It always is faster to do it in material. If you can do something in material, you should do it in material, okay? So I will talk about material more and we will dive into it with more of these nodes like Lerp, like Vertex Color, Vertex Color, Texture Coordinate and all of those that we did talk about and we will add to it through time. I hope you like this video. Please, 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 if you want to help me, hit that like button. And believe me, it's my honor to have you at this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.